everybody. I'm Pam Otto and I'm the Outreach Ambassador here at the St. Charles Park District. The plant I'd like to tell you about today is one of my absolute favorites. It's wild ginger, Acerum canadense. The wild ginger I have in my yard, I actually got by accident. I wanted some Jack in the Pulpit and I wanted some Solomon's Seal. A native plant gardener shared some of those plants from their yard, uh, but within that soil was also some tiny, uh, there were also some tiny little starts of wild ginger. Well, the ensuing quarter of a century, that little start of wild ginger has spread across the north side of my house, an area that, that frankly I have trouble getting plants to grow in. It's not very sunny there. The soil is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's not terribly wet there. Uh, it's not terribly dry there. It's what we would call mesic soil. Uh, the wild ginger has just flourished in that area. In fact, it's done so well, it's crept around the side of my house and is now functioning as a ground cover uh, in my front yard as well. Uh, which happens to be a western exposure. It gets a little bit more sun there, but it keeps the plant quite happy. Even better, I was so surprised a couple of years ago to find that I now have wild ginger growing on the south side of my house, and I had nothing to do with it. Wild ginger shares a unique relationship with some of our local ant species. When the wild ginger flower, which, by the way, a lot of people don't realize Wild ginger even has a flower. It's a little, maybe one inch wide bloom. It's a maroon, kind of a dark maroon color. It's underneath the leaves. So it's very inconspicuous, but it's growing right where it needs to. Uh, remember, a flower's job is to produce seeds. And those wild ginger flowers produce a small seed that's got a little stripe on it. That strip is actually, uh, it contains uh, fats, uh, it contains sugars. It is very attractive because it's a, uh, to ants because it, it offers them a food source. So ants will pick up these seeds, they'll carry them back to their little ant homes, they'll bring them down into the, uh, underneath the ground, they'll feed off of that strip, which is called an elaisome, and then they discard the seed still underneath the ground, which is the perfect place for it to start growing. So um, I have the ants in my yard to thank uh, for helping to distribute this wonderful native plant. Now, if you're looking to add wild ginger to your yard, I suggest you pay a visit to the Hickory Knolls Discovery Center on Saturday, June 5th. That's when we're hosting our native plant sale where we'll have several flats of wild ginger available. I'm gonna be there. I hope to see you there too. Thanks for listening.